fans are already here in Jacksonville getting ready for the first games tomorrow. And many were able to watch their teams practice at the arena just this afternoon. Action News Jack's Courtney Cole is live at the Vice Star Veterans Memorial Arena. And Courtney, you talked to some fans and local leaders about the excitement surrounding this tournament. Yes, and all that excitement, Tanika, has led to almost all of the 15,000 seats here at Vice Star Veterans Memorial Arena being sold out because everyone wants to be there to see their team win. We've got some of the teams in there right now practicing, but Yale and LSU will be the first teams to hit the court tomorrow afternoon. Go Tigers! Go Tigers! Fans from eight college basketball teams are descending on Jacksonville for the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament, all with hopes, of course, that their team will go all the way. Of course, it's LSU. LSU's going to win it all. We, we got to win it all. We're going to win it all. The city of Jacksonville is excited to have the tournament back and excited to have a big name program like Kentucky. Thousands of Kentucky fans showed up this afternoon just to watch the Wildcats practice. Yale, Abilene Christian, Maryland, Wolford, Belmont, and Seton Hall fans will also be making their way into downtown Jacksonville over the next couple of days. It absolutely is good for the area economically. Visit Jacksonville President Michael Corrigan told me having events like this to bring fans to Jacksonville is key to the city's success in tourism. What are you looking forward to doing in Jacksonville? Um, just enjoying some good food. We're about to like that's where we're about to go right now. Um, just see the sights, just have a good time. But it's not just a win for all the fans and the teams that are visiting who will play here at Vice Star. Coming up on Action News Jax at 6, I spoke to Visit Jacksonville and they're telling me why this benefits the city financially, how much they're expecting it to benefit the city, and where visitors are taking those dollars. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, Courtney Cole, CBS 47, Action News Jax.